Hi there, everybody. How's it going? My name's Tim. And my name's Michael. And welcome to this Halloween edition of TMI. Woo! <laughs> Tim and Michael Information Show! You know, what's really scary is for once in his life, Michael's wider than I am. What? Mm -hmm. What's going on with that? You know, it's funny. This could be somebody completely different, and I could just be dubbing this later. Mm. True story. You could be Michelle. Michelle. Hello, Michelle, my bell. No, but for, for the sake of doing the rest of the episode, so it doesn't sound completely <laughs> horrible, I will take this off. But... Oh, man. Oh, you, you can stop breathe. sweating in your face now. Oh, well, you know, I, I love this thing. This is, a, <laughs> this is an old mask. I've actually had it for a while, so we're just going to set him right here on the lap. So that's it's what we're going to do. And that is, that is Michael. So uh, today we are talking about, speaking of being in Halloween and tis the season to be scary, mm -hmm. uh, being scared of doing a particular project. And I that, think it happens a lot when we're beginners too. Jumping into a lot of new ambitious pieces mm -hmm. can be really scary. It just happened to me the other day actually. Tell us about it. Yeah. So I was doing some visual development for a, uh, for a piece. In fact, we'll just put it right up here. Oh, There's there you go. Okay. Yeah. Nice. As you can see, it's uh, it's kind of moody, a lot of little lighting challenges in there, and I can see it in my head, we all can, mm -hmm. we all know what it's like up here, but translating that to the page is a completely different process, and I wanted it done very, very soon, but at the same time, I didn't want to start it, because I had no idea where I'd begin, and I had no idea how I was going to accomplish this, uh -huh. but obviously I did. Well, uh, how'd you get past that, then? You know, I think one thing I have to do is trick myself into not being scared. Um, it's when you're brand new and you're trying to figure something out. Sometimes drawing isn't as much fun as we'd like to think it is. Drawing and painting can be very, very challenging. And you, if you recognize that challenge, it can get to the point where when you're going into a project, you don't even want to start. It doesn't even feel fun. All the excitement mm -hmm. of what you're about to do, all the excitement of this moody piece is ruined by the fear of not knowing where to go. So, again, I have to trick myself into not being scared. And for this piece, I did it by actually warming up with a couple of loose sketches. Nice. Um, you know, I found that if I sit down and I just copy sketches from something I like. Recently, I've been on a Pixar kick, so I've been doing Carl Fredrickson from Up, Merida from Brave. And if I sketch them out, you know, it's not too difficult. I'm just copying. I'm good at copying. Mm -hmm. And I remind myself how much fun it is to draw and how much fun it is to move that pencil across the page and find the form and find the shapes and at the very end you've got something very cool they just whipped out in you know 15 20 minutes nice so you kind of get to the other end of that struggle and that accomplishment is fresh in your head it's a minor victory but it's a victory nonetheless and that kind of reminds me oh, yeah i like this and boom fear conquered and i move into painting cool congratulations thank you uh, well, I guess I can share a little something. Yeah, uh, this, is, this is also pretty recent, something I was working on, um, and I'll throw that up. Boom! So, uh, this is actually four different comps that I was doing for a t-shirt design for a, uh, for a Halloween maze. Um, and uh, they had a couple different options, but uh, a funny, interesting story. Um, not everybody from the maze voted, and um, some of them had some non-votes, should I say, that they put inside the box. It didn't really have a number on it, but they just had a rude thing or two to say. And so, um, yeah, you know. Uh, now, um, uh, as, as I was told the other day, somebody said, what you should have done is probably just done one really good one. And maybe for this particular project, that's probably what sure. I should have done. Uh, I didn't get to meet everybody. I mean, I only knew a couple people in the maze, and so maybe giving them too many options and trying to get them all together in the middle of when they're working wasn't the best thing to do. Uh, however, um, even though it's not necessarily me being scared of the project anymore, all of a sudden I felt really, I guess the word would be discouraged all of a sudden, and mm. it was a, a daunting project all of a sudden of, wow. Uh, I mean, the, the one that I had uh, chosen um, to do final for them <clears throat> only won by one vote. And when it's only four of those votes that won, you can see how how many you know of them were split. So then I just yeah. felt bad, like I approached the project completely wrong, and uh, but I still wanted to finish it for them, um, you know, just so they could have uh, something cool to go off of. And um, 
the other thing is too, and I'll be completely honest, is maybe the the one that they ended up choosing wasn't one of the was probably the last one that I wanted to do. But it's not about me; it's about them. You right. know, it's about your client, and it's about what your client wants, and uh, you give them options. So um, I just didn't really want to work on it. Uh, but kind of your same approach. I think for me, what I started doing is I said, you know what, there are some other things that maybe I can work on. I've noticed this this week, actually, with me. I have a lot of different projects that I always have going at once, and I keep them pretty evened out. There you um, go. But then what happens is if I don't feel like working on one particular project, I go to another one. And actually, I did another one for our show, uh, which oh, maybe really? yeah, which maybe you guys will be seeing. Cool. Uh, in in a uh, for knows? this show. Yeah, for this show. Because you're Mr. Showman. You, oh, oh, the Lord. oh yeah. <laughs> See you tell. Um, yeah, just just a just a little something for TMI, and I actually whipped that out in a couple hours, and I was really surprised at how fast I was working because you know. But then once I got going, then I was able to go back to the other project, and uh, so um, so if you guys hit any sort of project that you were just kind of daunted by or scared by. Um, I guess what works for us yeah. is going for something else and just stepping away from a while. Um, also, Christina told me the other day, sometimes you listen to music to just get you in the mood. Mm -hmm. She's a very music-oriented person, and uh, I've started to really do that, too. When you're doing a sad piece, right. listen to sad music, or when you're doing sometimes the opposite. Sometimes when you're doing a spooky piece, uh, listen to Annie. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Michael. No, no. <laughs> But, but it works. Uh, yeah, and, and um, to, uh, I think it was uh, uh, Daniel Miller. He designs mazes for Knott's Berry Farm. Mm -hmm. um, I believe he was talking one day and said, sometimes you get your best scare after your best laugh. You know, and I really think Just you, position. when you work yeah. the gambit of the opposite emotion, sometimes it helps. So maybe listening to some music that is a little opposite of what you're trying to work for can work just as well as listening to music that is in the mood of what you're trying to aim for. So, yeah, true story. I mean, back when I was painting 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which you've seen on the show before, I was listening to the Hobbit soundtrack, because oh. The Hobbit had just come out at the time. Yeah. And, I mean, they're very different stories, but the richness and the somberness of them at times is very, very similar. And, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that soundtrack made that painting or the process of that painting a total experience yeah. it was the soundtrack to my painting wow uh, so don't be scared guys of any project that you have you can overcome that fear as far as things that go bump of the night that's a completely different show yep we'll we'll cover that later so uh for now my name is michael and my name is tim we will see you on the flip side And remember, if you've any questions, email us at tmi.rs.productions at gmail.com. Michael, I told you not to do that voice. It scares me.